Hello everyone. Uh, so at this moment, I will show you how to create a digital map using our engine. For example, uh, at this moment, I'll already show you an application you know, where we can uh, see you know, topography of South Sumatra province in Indonesia. So basically, it's at uh, like you know the elevation, and there's like some sort of uh, hill sheet one below it. And also, I add road, road that night, so you can see the description of the road. I also have toponyms, you know, uh, the name of geography, like for example, Palembang City, or Banyuasin, or I don't know, this uh, Ogan Ilir Regency. So, this like subdivision of South Sumatra. So, Palembang City, Ogan Ilir Regency, probably City, I think. Yeah, it's a probably city. So, I also have the like the, the boundary, you know, so there's a boundary, you can see the like white like stuff here. If you can see it clearly, I'm not sure about it. And also, like uh, the river, the river from global surface water data, and also toponyms. Yeah, and also the glass is a bit center. I mean, uh, like this orange black stuff, orange with uh, black outline. And as you can see, that we can also turn off the data. Like, for example, I turn off the toponyms. Yeah show again <laughs> so like actual digital map that we you can create in like uh, keep leaflet or open layer or any kind of digital map but this time you can use it in your engine although you need to be like a little bit of code you can turn off this you know you can turn off everything <laughs> and the road to yep the river to and the location too so yeah you can make digital map like this uh, how to look, make it? Uh, let's took a look at uh, our, our script. Uh, so this is the script that we made. So first, uh, I try to center the area here. Then I filter the R from the old data, you know, the administration of South Sumatra. I also get the subdivision, uh, you know, like the prof, the regency and city. I get the uh, elevation data from CRTM. Then I click to the South Sumatra. Then I get the, uh, make the hill shape this shape i mean this function uh, i get from multiple sources you know using multiple uh, source of the shape and then i create uh made, make a combination of it the slope and i get this like beautiful slope uh, beautiful hill set i mean then i get the refer data i turn it to a uh, layer you know layer where i can turn off turn off turn off and on the layer then i get the data from grip data and then i create also the ue map layer of that Oh. I also create the Bogun Center from GPV, uh, global, global uh, population, uh, greater population of the world. Yes, I get where I get the point of the green, the orange, the orange stuff, you know. And for the text, you know, how to create text, I'm using uh, Gina packages, you know, Gina packages, uh, which I will create uh, like for each point inside the South Sumatra, he create a, a text with a black uh, uh, color and white outline with some sizes. Then I um, in I turn it to a layer, and then I create the panel. You know the panel that you can see here, right on the right, <laughs> where we can scroll and scroll it, scroll down. We make the panel. I, I add the title, then I I add some information like a uh, code reference system. I also add the the label legend, and like the legend, and then I add the function where we can turn on and turn off the uh, layer. I'm using U UI checkbox, you know, like turn on, turn off stuff. Where the first value is the name, but you don't have to do it. I can just create a new label for that. Then I create the function where if it's fa false, if it uncheck, I will be make the layer to be turned off. And if it's check, you will set it to on. And so I'll do the same for uh, population center or obsession center uh, for the border to for the road, the river, and elevation. For the it's quite complicated. I create function uh, called the red gradient. So I create like a thumbnail, thumbnail of uh, colorful. Uh, so it's look like a uh, you know, legend is quite uh, colorful legend. <laughs> I guess you can say that. And that's it, I guess. That's basically the whole thing that I do. <laughs> I just create a legend and also add some sources, you know, a source here using this UI panel. 
So this is how I made it. Uh, I made this that map. Oh yeah, maybe uh you need to also like post it you know, to become application, you know, web application. Uh, what how to do it? Uh, on the right side on the top, there's a like app manage app. You can create a new app from here, like new app. Use maybe only you. Uh, you have cloud project if you have cloud project, but it, sometimes you do have that. <laughs> so you have cloud project, you can use this, but if you don't have, just choose only you. For example, uh, name something like South Sumatra, South Sumatra, and then cloud project is this one. Then current photo editor and feature this app on your public app gallery, sure, so that it can be seen from everyone. Then publish is done. It's very quick. Well, things done. We can just wait for it. This is the app for Sumatra. Eh, it's taking time. You can just wait. But if uh, after it's wait, after it's done, uh, I will be like this. Yeah. This the application will be like this. I mean, the problem is with this that it's quite slow. You know, it's compared to like uh, like Laughlet because the processing is done by the script. You know, it's not instead of offline the data. So the data is need to be created <laughs> at the moment you open the app. So that's a limitation. But it's okay. I mean, it's for like for easy visualization, easy uh, showing the map of your results. Will be easy using this method. Instead of you know to export and then create the web app application yourself using uh, you know React or make it you using Final JavaScript, uh, it's much faster I guess using this method. Uh, so I guess that's it. Uh, thank you for your yeah attention. You can try this out how to make like digital map using our engine. See you next time. Bye. Oh, oh, many you can use another data as well and go for up to you. Okay, okay, that's it. Thank you. Bye.